Hey guys, welcome to day 98 of my carnivore journey. And if you're just now joining me for the first time, welcome. I hope you stay. I hope you subscribe to our awesome little community here. We've got some great folks here and we've all been kind of helping each other get through this. Um, but anyways, let's get to it. Um, guys, I wanted to, of course, give you my daily diary um, of what I did uh, today. I um, kept it fairly simple and went back to... I always kind of keep keep it simple and go to the, go to the basics, right? And um, so for lunch, I had a piece of bacon. Did I just have one? I think I just had one piece of bacon. I really didn't have much of a lunch, to be honest with you. Just just that piece of bacon. Um, and for dinner, I have a pitcher right here, and I had, of course, you can see. That's a one pound burger. I just made one. <laughs> it, wh what it was was I, ha I had one pound of ground beef. I added one egg and I added like salt, pepper, garlic. And I just like, you know, folded it all up. Um, oh, I, oh, I did add a little bit of smoked paprika. These are all ingredients that haven't bothered me. So, but I folded all that up. Trying to think, and I think that was just it. I don't think I did a splash of, of heavy cream. Just the one egg and salt, pepper, garlic. Oh, yeah, white pepper. Salt, pepper, garlic, and uh, smoked paprika. But I, I folded it all, mixed it by hand. And then it was in the bowl, and I just took, like, a spatula. I was kind of, like, mashing it down. And I mashed it into a, a burger, and it perfectly sort of molded to the bottom of the bowl. Well, then when I, I was going to make them into, like, two or three individual hamburger patties. But then I had the, I had the, um, uh, the flat iron or not iron, but the flat stainless steel grill. Uh, it's a Blackstone grill. And, uh, I want to say it's like a 27 inch or something. 29, I don't know. But anyways, I keep it on the back porch. Um, so that way that keeps the smells down. But I had that heated up. And threw that that bad boy on there, and I only flipped it one time the whole time, but like got it nice and searing. And then when it was searing, I poured bacon grease over the top because I had some fresh liquid bacon grease. So I just poured the top with bacon grease, and I actually put two tablespoons of uh, like a pat of butter, about two tablespoons worth, right on top. Closed the lid and just let it sit there and grill. Or I don't know, three to five minutes or something, and then, and then finally it was like I went ahead and flipped it. It had nice, you know, the the Maillard effect, which you can see, and then I just made it to temperature. Uh, I think I started getting temperatures in the one sixties or something. I pulled it off, let it rest for just a few minutes, and had that with two pieces of bacon. So all together, I had three pieces of bacon, and um, and that one pound of ground beef. And now, as far as coffee, I had. This is my second one and I'm almost done. <laughs> so it's the weekend. So some sometimes I'll wake up on, on the weekends and I'll just feel like coffee, you know, because most of the time during for for work, I don't um, I just don't make coffee and all that before work. Um, but when I'm home on the weekends, sometimes I'll just be sitting here and be like Sunday afternoon or something. I'm like, you know what? I can go for a coffee. So I did. So I had coffee um, and then just had coffee a little bit ago. And yes, I'm still doing the iodine drops. Um, and then, of course, today I did the workout, um, just the five exercises. And I probably will. I don't know if I'll take my supplements tonight because I had all that ground beef. Um, I'm not sure. So we'll see. But I only take those a lot of times, you know, um, when I don't eat a lot of the beef. I'm eating beef almost every day. So, um, what, what else, um, guys? I know, like when I did the live on the 90 days, I know some of you, some of you all said that um, you found because we we got talking about some of my personal stuff and how I do a lot of paranormal, a lot of ghost stuff, and um, I have a show. So one thing I just uploaded onto my YouTube channel. Um, if anybody's interested. And check this out. It is the uh, Obake. Um, it's a Japanese spirit. And so I kind of talk about the um, sort of the real life. The Obake is in a variety of paranormal games, video games. 
Um, but there is a real. I mean, it's a very celebrated uh, spirit in uh, Japan. It can be both malevolent and um, benevolent. Um, so, but check it out if you want to see. It's only like a five minute video. If you want to kind of hear about the um, the Obaka, check it out. Anyways, I just thought I'd throw that out there for you guys because, again, I know some of you were showing interest and you said you found that fascinating. So I just wanted to pass it along. It's something I just uploaded a little bit ago. Uh, was working on it today. But anyways, we are getting close to day 100. I'm excited. Remember, day 120 will be my first 30 days into chapter two. And that's where we're going to do the weigh in and stuff like that. As far as how I feel, I've been feeling pretty good. The iodine... I put three drops in my first cup of coffee, and then the second one, I went ahead and put two drops. So altogether today, I've had five drops of iodine, and you can really go more. Um, so don't think I'm any threat of, of overdosing or anything. Like, there's nothing like that. But I just thought, you know, since I had the second cup, I'm like, hey, I'll just put a couple drops of iodine in there. As far as tasting it wise, I mean, I don't personally like taste it because my coffee is fairly bitter in a way, you know, so it's, it's fine. I, I don't really notice anything. My coffee tastes good. So the iodine, um, I, I hope it's working. I did go uh, poop a few days for the last few days and it was pretty productive, which I was really surprised. Um, so I don't know if the, the iodine may be helping to carry uh, some of that bromine stuff out and and the other bad things that is supposed to taxi cab out of your system. I don't know, but it seems like it's it's helping to carry out some more stuff. Anyways, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to give it a little time before I talk more about if I notice a difference. But in these last few days, I've felt maybe a little better, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to say because I was kind of, kind of nitpicking, you know, right? But um, other than that, guys, I'm really excited, and um, and you guys have really been making this journey so awesome. I'm telling you, I, I just can't thank you guys enough. All the love, the comments, guys, you're so awesome, and I look forward to see what keeps happening. And I again, I haven't weighed myself. I don't know. I feel like I may have stalled, but sometimes I don't. It's really weird. I, I'm just trying not to think about it. I'm just trying to just keep going and keep having faith that in the end we'll get back to some kind of normal looking weight, you know, some actual um, proper human weight. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for day 99. Oh my God. Bye.